working in Accra and have in their bank accounts your money and mine for doing nothing but hiring people in Ghana to stick faces <coughs> on a bus. And nobody's going to jail. Such blatant collusion in breach of the law, we are told it should end because they've refunded part of the money and a minister has resigned. Now, the first hear things from the minister's own mouth because it was this event that broke the story where the 2016 budget was being debated in parliament and the ministry's budget had been slashed and the minister complained that it would stifle the operations of the ministry. But in August, they shelled out 3.6 million CDs for nothing. And so the ministry was broke. It's in the state that we pay the money. No wonder they have to go into the oil funds and pick that money up. As recently as April 2010, this time as former minister, the minister says that unless and until her party is voted for, she will go to jail. But nobody has thought about jailing her. As it is said in my language, when you eat the head of an ape, it gives you nightmares. So Ulrich will go to her as a son that born in. Whose lives will be changed? Look at the back of the buses. Changing lives. Whose lives have been changed by the 3.6 million? One person. Are, are, are you here with me? Look at the pictures. One is in color and it's bigger than the rest in black and white. On all the buses. The faces in black and white often change, but the one in color is permanent on all the buses. This is simply campaign funds. This is simply your money taken to campaign. Whose lives have been changed by this bus branding? The campaign. So even to campaign, your money and mine must be used. We have presented a 20-page dossier to the Attorney General. And, we are, and we've copied the Speaker of Parliament, Majority Leader, Minority Leader, leaders of all political parties. We are demanding rescission of the contract. We are demanding prosecution. Governments have stolen enough from Ghana. We will not allow it anymore. We are serving notice on the next government, whichever party it comes from, that asks for this matter. We will not let it lie. We will not let this lie ever. They should recover every dime of our money. And the people who did this, the ministers, the directors of and chief directors of the ministries who signed those lying letters, the people who are running smarties, who benefited from this, there's sufficient law to jail them. Unless and until this nation makes an example, people will steal our money with impunity. Well, maybe what the animals have eaten, they can eat. But going into the next government, we will not allow this to happen. We must make these actions painful.